Hi, I'm Steve Wheeler and I'm here today to talk to you about digital literacies. Now, digital literacies as a plural, there are lots of them, uh, are really vital if you want to fully participate in the digital economy, the digital society, whatever we call this uh, place that we live in now with all of this pervasive, ubiquitous technology that surrounds us. Now, digital literacies uh, help us to do a number of things. They help us to critically evaluate content that we come across online, for instance. They help us to navigate around the environment that we find ourselves in. Uh, they allow us to create content, organize it, repurpose it, share it. There's a whole range of things that digital literacies will allow us to do. But it's really critical that we actually acquire these literacies if we are going to participate fully in this digital society. And the second thing you need to know about digital literacies is that they're not just skills or competencies, they actually go a lot deeper than that. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, when I learned to drive here in the UK, I learned to drive on the left-hand side of the road, the right-hand side of the car, I learned how to interpret signals and um, I learned how to um, be courteous to other drivers on the road, etc, etc. Um, that was a set of skills that I learned and over a period of time as they developed and I became better at them, they became competencies. But that all went out the window when I went across to America and worked over there and learned to drive over there because in effect everything was reversed. I had to learn to drive on the right hand side of the road, on the left hand side of the car and I had to learn a whole new uh, script if you like about uh, how to interpret road signs and different conventions and, and modes of um, of driving actually in America. And it's the same in, in other countries. It was an alien environment environment for me. So in effect what I had to do was learn literacies. And I put it to you that digital environments are quite alien to a lot of us and we have to learn a whole new set of literacies that go with the competencies and skills we already have. And the third and final thing about digital literacies is that they don't actually replace the old literacies that we've already acquired. Things like you know the reading and writing and listening and speaking that we all know how to do so well. But what they do in fact do is extend and enhance those across new digital environments as they become available. So in fact what we're doing is adapting our abilities across those environments. Uh, transliteracy for instance is uh, the ability to be able to present yourself equally well across lots of different platforms. So whether it's video like this on YouTube or whether it's texting or whether it's using Twitter or Facebook or email, uh, we should be able to do those all equally well. That's transliteracy. So with this really short and brief video on digital literacies, I hope you've, um, you've enjoyed it and you've learned something from it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.